Hi guys and thanks for joining us on our Inkscape tutorial number two video where we're going to be covering making text, images and strokes cuttable. So they will be converted into vector images in today's tutorial. So you will have your Inkscape control panel loaded up now like we've got ours on the screen. So in our Inkscape tutorial number one video, uh, we went through writing text, uh, designing shapes, and creating strokes so we won't go through that in this video so today we're going to concentrate like I say on uh, making text images and strokes cuttable so there's a few steps that we need to follow to do this so we're just going to start by importing something so we're going to select file import and then just double click this beard image just make sure it says embed there and not link and then select OK so I'm just going to hold my control button down whilst I scale this in and it'll scale it in ratio. And then I'm just going to drag that up and drop it on my design space. So what we're going to do here is if we just send this to a cutting machine at the moment, it won't see it. So we need to trace it. So we right select, then we select trace bitmap and then we just select update and then we select OK. And then we just exit out of that box and this is now traced it so if i just move that there and move this one here you'll see our old one you can't see the the image the line in the background there from our design space so we're going to get rid of that top one that's our old jpeg so this is now a cuttable file so to make an image cuttable we must trace it so we just trace the bitmap uh, we did that there with a right click and trace bitmap so it was quite straightforward so the next step we're going to do is we're going to create a path. So to create a path, I must come down and select my colors, but I must hold my shift key. So I've just held my shift key and touched red and you'll see there it's came stroke at the bottom. So I can come over here to my strokes on the side. I can select stroke and I can make my stroke bigger. You'll see it's gone bigger there around my image. So I can make it even bigger so it looks silly, but we just want a small stroke. So I'll just go down to around two and a half, three. And that just looks perfect so now to make a stroke cuttable uh, you'll see if I send this now to sign cut export send to sign cut pro and then I'll just touch my little emblem there you'll see it's just showing us the black design and there's no other colors here on the right hand side so it can't see the red yet and that's because we haven't made it a cuttable file so it's again it's a straightforward process I'm just gonna select all of this so you'll see trace bitmap's gone from that, Im that image now, so we can't trace it from there. So we must come up to path here and then select, uh, so well, no, so sorry, you'll see if I select trace bitmap there, there's no option, um, there's no option to make this stroke cuttable. So it's dead simple. We go back up to path and we select stroke to path. That's now made the stroke cuttable but you'll see it's got rid of our original design. So there's just one design there now, and that's our stroke. Um, so we obviously want two designs. If we were gonna put this on a T-shirt, we'd want the black design, and then we want the red stroke around it. So if I just hit Control Z, it'll bring that back how it was. And then if I just duplicate that layer, right click duplicate, and now I've got two of them. So I can go back over to that one now. I can select path, stroke to path, and then I've got my stroke there that's now cuttable. So the other one, I need to just get rid of the stroke off it. So if I touch it and then come over here to my width of the stroke, I'm just gonna knock that down to zero. And now you'll see I've got my two files there. So I've got my stroke in red and I've got my design in black. So now I've got my two cuttable files there. Um, so what I would usually do is I would make two images there. So I'm just gonna show you if I export this now to sign cut how it is. You'll see it's giving me both. Um, so if I go over to the right hand side, I've got my red and black here. I can select black and it just leaves the black. So I can cut the black. If I select the red, I'll just be cutting the red. If I select the box above it, it will show them both again. But just bear in mind, if I'm putting a black piece of vinyl in, they're both gonna be black. If I'm putting just a red piece of vinyl in, they're both gonna be red. So another way that I usually do this, I'll just quickly show you. So if we go back out of that, so I'll just go to file, new, and create a new file here. So if I just go back to my old file, if I just 
you know, we'll use the black one actually. If I just copy that and then I go into my new file, so right click copy and then in here and right click paste, and then it'll put my black file here. So now I've got my red file in this one if I just delete the black one out. So now I've got two different folders, so I've got my black design and then I've got my red design in the other folder. So I've got two separate folders with the with the two separate designs in two separate documents rather. So now you'll see if I export this red one to SignCut Pro. It's just the red one that's in there. So there's no option for the black one. There's nothing else there. So it's just going to cut the red piece for me. So it just works out a little bit easier doing it this way. So if I want to make, say I wanted to make 10 or 12 of these, I'd go file document properties. I'd bring my box up. And then, you know, I like this to be in inches if you watched the last video. So I'm just going to change that to inches. And then I'm going to make this box, I don't know, let's say 30 centimeters, well, 30 inches rather, uh, by 24 inches. And if I wanted to fit 10 or 12 of these on there, that'd be enough space. So if I just grab this and drag it over and drop it in the center so we can see what we're doing. So I'm just gonna grab that and move it up to the top. So I just right click, copy that, right click, paste. Same stack again, right click, paste. And then one more time, right click, paste. And you can see I've got four there. So if I just highlight all four of these, then I'll be able to make another row. So right click copy, right click paste again. You can see where I'm going with this. So we can put 12 in here quite easily. So I could just paste that again, but just to show you again, highlight them all, right click copy, right click paste. And you can see I can fit 12 now in there. I could have probably turned some of them around, maybe fitted a few more in if I'd, if I'd wanted to, but it's just to give you the idea of how you'd do that. So if I select extensions, export, send to sign cut pro again, just look for my little emblem coming on the bottom taskbar here and then touch it and it'll open sign cut up. So you can see now it's got my 12 designs there again, only the option for red, no option for black. So if I wanted to cut that, I'd select my scissors. I'd have a look at the design, make sure it's correct. And then I'd just select cut out. And then if your cut is set up correctly, that will just cut straight out on your cutting machine now. So I just wanted to show you how to do that. Uh, so if I just close that one down and then we're back to our black design now. So if I just I'm just going to delete that out now. So I'm just going to show you some text now. So how to make text cuttable. So I'm just going to write a word here. So if I write, you can write any word you like. If you just practice them, I'm just going to write start to print. So I'm going to grab my cross at the top and make that bigger so we can see what we're doing. So if you want to change your font, you can go in and you can change your font there. You can see your different fonts you've got. So I'm just going to select MV Bowley. If you watch the last video, you'll see that's one of my favorite fonts. So just scale it down a little bit. So you'll see if you want to scale it in ratio, you'll hold your control button down and it'll scale in ratio. If you don't hold your control button down, it won't scale it in ratio. So again, if you want to make your text cuttable, if we send this to the cutting machine at the moment, it won't see anything. So we need to we need to go up to the top here. So if I just um, quickly show you, actually, if we select export, send to sign cut pro two, it will come up with this error message. So error cannot find any vector data. Text needs to be converted to paths. So it's dead simple to do. Once you know what you're doing, you select path at the top and then you select object to path. And then that's now made our text cuttable. So if we send it to our vinyl cutting software now, we use SignCut Pro, you may use a different one. Uh, it will now go through. So you'll just see me doing these steps again, extensions, export, send to SignCut Pro. And if I just touch my little emblem on the taskbar there, you'll see it's now sent it to SignCut for us. 
So we're going to make a t-shirt vinyl with this. We'd want to mirror it. If we were making signed vinyl, we'd just leave it that way and cut it out. So if we wanted to mirror it, we'd go up to our taskbar here and we'd select our mirror box. So you'll see we can then export it to sign cut. And if we were going to cut this out to make a t-shirt, it's now mirrored. So you need to always check it's mirrored because you don't want to be wasting vinyl. I have a little check there again. Is it mirrored? Does it need to be mirrored? So this left hand side where I'm showing you now, this is called your leading edge. This is the side that will come out the vinyl cutter and it's showing you there where the blade will be. Um, so you'll have a long piece of vinyl in there and it's just showing you what way it's going to cut. So you just select cut out if you wanted to cut that and it would cut that out for you again if your vinyl cutter set up correctly. So that's pretty much it guys for, for this tutorial. Um, I just wanted to show you how to, to send things to the cutter, how to make different different things cuttable. Um, again, you've got your mirror box up there. That you can mirror and unmirror things with. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. So we'll see you on the next tutorial. Hopefully this has helped you navigate how to send things to cut and how to make dual layers um, and, and double color cuts as well. So cheers guys. I hope this video has been helpful for you. And like I said a minute ago, hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye for now. Please don't forget guys, that if you haven't bought your printed equipment yet, we do sell complete startup packages. So a lots of people come to us for help getting started up. We sell to schools, universities, martial arts academies, people working from home. And they come to us because they get something like what you see on the screen here, a full startup package. So they get all of the equipment that you see there. What they'll also get is they'll get their training and their after sales support. So you'll see there, you'll get your equipment, your training and your after sales support from us. You'll also get, if you come and visit us for your training, a free cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit. How's that? Please give us a like on social media, guys, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, you can also go to our website, which is www.starttoprint.co.uk. You'll see it on the screen there. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.